Herod. Wait up, Herod. What do you want? You OK? Peachy. I'm sorry Mrs Quinn fired you. You were a brilliant year rep. Some of us sap gets a goat in our. Actually, something I need to tell you. Unless you found the person who stitched me up, now you ain't interested. Herod, don't be like that. Oh, excuse me for being in a bad mood. But somehow, my dad has to find 200 quid to pay for damage to Quinn's car. What? Quinn sent him the bill. But her insurance should cover it. Well, it's coming out of our pockets instead. What else was it you wanted to ask me? I just hope we can still be friends. Whatever. I knew you'd read it. Must be nice being a sharky, getting all your work done for you. Didn't ask you to do it. Well, one of us had to do it, and it wasn't going to be you, was it? By my honour, sir, I regret I'm unable to accept your proposition, kind though it may be. <laughs> dull, 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 dull. You are joking. Why is Juliet such a whiny little wimp, stabbing herself over a bloke? Freak. She's sacrificing herself in the name of love. Pass me the bucket. Fine. If you think you can do better, change it. Go on, Sharky, show me how it's done. It's not that easy. Whatever. I mean, for me. It's not that easy for me. What? I have plenty of ideas. Just don't know what to do with them. It's like, in here, the really good, dead exciting stuff, trust me, it'd make your eyeballs pop out. But then... Something happens between here and, and here. Just not so good anymore. Happy now? I suppose I could help. Meanwhile, I had leads to follow up on. The photo must have been taken about here. Interesting. A tripod? It was a ticket, the kind the school gives to students when they borrow expensive equipment, like cameras. I knew the photography club had a logbook. If I could find it, it might tell me who checked out a camera and tripod lately. If I was really lucky, it might even lead me to the camera itself. What it's worth, I thought you were a brilliant year rep. Thanks, Davey. What was your next plan going to be? Water slides. And monkey day. <laughs> but I've had to scrap them. What else? I mean, you came up with the gaming zone and film club. I bet you had loads of other ideas to make the school fun. Didn't you? If it's a fake, it's a good one. <laughs> you need to know your way around a PC to fake something that well. But there's no way Martin could have set Harrod up. His home computer's broken, he couldn't have done that. Maybe that's why he was so keen to fix yours. No, no way. Because he's only ever worked on it when I've been here. Uh, except... Except what? Except when we were covering the elections. What are you doing? Call me up a log. Shows when the edit software's been accessed. There he is. And again. And again. Seems like every time he's been in here on his own. We've got him. That's it. But we don't know he was using it to fake pictures of your brother. I think I found a photo framer. Way ahead of you, dude. It's it was Martin. Martin. I couldn't find the logbook, but it looks like a photographer has borrowed a tripod and a camera. Plus, I found this in the photography storeroom. That's Martin's. He uses it to clean his glasses. Did he find any evidence of his partner in crime? No, but if he was using a tripod, we could just be looking for one person. He could have set the camera to self-timer mode, then took a picture of himself smashing Quinn's windscreen. Then, stuck Herod's face onto his own body, 
photocopy the pictures and put them up around the school. We just checked out Amy's computer. Turns out Martin's been using her editing software behind her back. It's a workable theory. Martin wouldn't do that. It's enough for me. Red, wait. You framed my brother. You don't know that for certain. You. What? Red, go easy. Time to talk, computer boy. What is this? Lost something, did you? I found that in the photography storeroom. So what? So what were you doing in there? That's my business. Why were you using me as photo editing gear? I, d I don't know what you mean. Any idea where there's a fake photo of Red's brother circulating around the school? You've got five seconds to talk and then I'm gonna get nasty. You won't like it when he's nasty. One, two, skip it, five. Okay, okay, look. Right, I did use the paper's photo editing software, but only for my own campaign posters, see? Doesn't explain why I found your little cloth in the photography storeroom. I'd arranged to make new school there. I didn't want everybody to sing us together. I've seen what she'd done for Herod's campaign, and I... I wanted to poach it. So, what happened? She gave me some big speech about loyalty, and how Herod was her friend. With loyal friends like that, who needs enemies? Why'd you say that? So much for loyalty. She's standing in the re-election. Now, may I go, or do you want to threaten me some more? I can't believe she'd stab Herod in the back like that. Some friend. I recognise that picture. It's the same photo of Herod. Who designed Herod's campaign posters? Anushka. My fellow students, it is with a sense of great pride that I stand before you today. If you elect me as your year representative... Hello, Anushka. Hi. You're not running your own election campaign, are you? Because I heard you made a pretty big mess of Herod's. So many want to tell us. I thought you wanted to help Herod. You're meant to be his friend. I was. I still am. Oh, so it's okay to frame your friends and land them with a bill of 200 quid? I never meant that to happen. I just meant to shake him up a bit. That's why I sent him the memo about the tuck shop. I thought he'd get told off and it'd make him focus on the job again, instead of going on about monkey day. But when Quinn let him off, it just made Herod more confident. I'm untouchable, me. So you decided to turn up the heat and free him for smashing Quinn's car? It was meant to be for his own good. I never thought he'd end up in so much trouble. Why didn't you just stand as your rep in the first place? I was too scared. I couldn't stand up in front of all those people. Then I stood in for Herod at a meeting, and I realised I could do it. But you had to get rid of Herod first. It wasn't like that. I just wanted to stop him turning the system into a joke. I never wanted him to get hurt. Well... You know what you've got to do. Anushka confessed to Quinn, who offered Herod his old job back. But Herod no longer wanted the responsibility. Over the last few months... Quinn let Anushka off with a warning. She wasn't allowed to stand for year rep, but because of her clean record and dedication to the school, Quinn offered her a position as secretary to the school council. In a roundabout way, she got what she wanted. But as Bernstein says, Crime always comes at a price. In Anushka's case, that price was friendship. But as one friendship faltered, another one blossomed. Juliet, my darling, you are alive? Not quite, Romeo, for I'm a zombie, a member of the undead. But pray tell, what does this mean? Can we be together forever, my love? Yeah. If you don't mind the decomposing a bit. <laughs> and so they lived happily ever after. <laughs> Even if Juliet did go a bit green and whiffy. <laughs> this doesn't mean I like you. Ditto. With Herod and Anushka out of the race, there were only two candidates left for your rep. And the winner, with a landslide majority, Martin Van Rensburg. Yes! <laughs> Democracy is stupid! Ooh.